How much did wind and weather affect what you were calling and the way the offense was being run? Well, I think first and foremost, going into the game, we knew there was going to be some weather, and so we knew it was going to be windy. So just initially, was a little bit of an adjustment as far as how much we wanted to throw, especially down the field. But we just didn't execute good enough and in the end, we just didn't do good things. And it comes down to being in an open week, and we didn't get it done. And it starts with me offensively and just making sure I'm getting the guys ready to go and getting them the right play call. Why did DJ Uyagali Lay not get a rush until late in the third quarter? No, I think the biggest thing was sometimes there was calls where he had a run and he threw it, too. So it was like some RPO throws there, too. So it was kind of a mixture there, but probably should have gotten him the ball a little bit more as a runner in that first half. What was the conversation when you guys decided to pull DJ there for that series? Well, it was really a similar situation where we just wanted to try to get a spark going. I told both of them to just be ready, and I told DJ to keep his head in it because I never know what can happen. So he stayed positive and obviously we had to come back to him too. A lot of guys would have quit. What's that say about the kind of guy that he is? Yeah, I mean it didn't surprise me one bit. I mean Hess a team guy all the way. Hess a guy that is going to battle to the end. And it wasn't just him, it was a lot of guys that just continued to fight, and it's not surprising at all. That's expected for our guys. And they did it in every situation. No matter how much you're down or struggling, just keep battling and keep fighting and that's what they did at the end. Why did you stop running Shipley? Was it because the game got away from you? I mean partially. Still probably should have given him some more like guaranteed touches. I don't know how many he had total, 17 or 18 total, something like that. But rushing. He didn't have enough where I could guarantee the touch where there wasn't an outlet screen to it or something like that. So just once again, just got to get him that ball more because he was doing some really good things. A lot of passes to the perimeter, especially earlier, early in the game. What did you see on Phil? Yeah, I mean just really trying to get some quick access throws to the edge and started off by hitting a couple of them with big plays. Then we just had penalties that brought us back, and Antonio had one. I think Davis Allen had at least one early in the game, and so we knew that if we could get on the edge and get into space, we had some yards there, 